Okie dokie. So I am doing this video for Miss Susan uh, Taming the Beast, I think. I forget your YouTube name, but I think that's what it is. Taming the Beast. Um, she wants to know how to cut uh, these uh, pants that I'm going to show her down to the knee part. So first thing you do, put your pants on and you're going to get your safety pin and kind of put it like, let's see babe, hold this. Like this. Yeah, I like that. And you want to put it about, mm, I would say about where your knee's at. See how short I am? So I would, I'm going to put it about right there. Okay? And then I'm going to cut that off. I'll show you in just one second. Okay, so you got your pants and you want to even them out like this. I'm going to have Alfred pick it up so you can see what I'm talking about. And you're just going to cut up to where that safety pin is at. And you can use scissors. Perfect, babe. Thank you. Or a roller like mine. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this off. Make sure everything is even before you get to cutting. So I'm going to cut right here. And you got to hold it tight because <laughs> this is some thick material. There you go. So then you got these two pieces, right? Now this is the trick of doing this. I'm going to take one leg at a time and I'm going to put it right here on the edge of my marking thing here. The best I can do here. And then I'm going to measure an inch and a half and then cut it. So, see how this leg is kind of wobbly? I mean, it's not straight. It would be nice if it was straight and then I could cut it. But I'd have to have Alfred's arms, hands to do that. So, I don't know. Can you do that, babe? Can you hold this and put that down so I can show them? It's going to be kind of tricky, people. Let's see. Let's see if we, we can do it like this. Mm, let me put my cup behind it. Let's see if that'll, if that'll work. Nope. Hold on. Okay. The, let me let me just show you what I'm talking about first. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have Alfred stretch it like this because see, it's, it's wobbly. It's it's got a curve in it. We don't want to cut and have that curve and see how you're gonna have a slack. You don't want that. So I'm gonna have him hold it down for me, stretch it. And then I'm going to measure an inch and a half and cut it off, okay? I'll be right back. So I just sewed this piece here to the leg. So this doesn't bother me. It's not tight at all. It may look it, but it's not. So you could do, instead of an inch and a half, you could do two inches down here. So that way it won't be too tight. It depends on where you want it. So when if you want to cut it like you could get the safety pin and, and, and safety pin it here and then do an inch and a half so then your leg would be down here. You see what I'm saying? So this is the part that doesn't have the elastic and I'm going to add this. Now I'm going to show you how to pin it to look like this. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so you're going to turn your pants inside out like this. See, this one's already got the elastic. You're going to take this, like I said, you can do an inch and a half or you can make it even longer, an, uh, two inches. It depends on you. So you take where it's been sewn, this inside seam of your pants, and you're going to match it up. You see that part right there? You're going to match that up, just like that. And you're going to pin all the way around. Now, when you go to pin it, all my pins got stuck behind here. When you go to pin it, this, you got to remember, is smaller than this. See how big that is from here to here? So, like my teacher, quilting teacher used to always tell me, you just keep going. You're going to have little gaps like that open. That's fine. You just keep playing with it until you get it 
to the way you want it. And then after I pin it, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. Be right back. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. And so when you put it down on the sewing machine, you're going to stretch it out and you're going to sew right on that edge. Let me show you. You see this? See how I just sewed right on the edge of that? So that's what it's going to look like after it's sewn. So this is how you. Together. Now, on the other pants that I'm going to cut, um, it's identical to what I just did. Identical. You cut it to where you want it, to the knee or underneath the knee. It's up to you. And when you go to cut, now this pair of pants, let me show you an example. It's going to have two seams. See on the outside of this pants? What you're going to do... is match. Once you cut this off and you go to put it back on, you're just going to match this seam and this seam to it. Go all the way around and sew it just like you did this one. That's how simple it is. So that way you're not hassling with having to put a hem. <laughs> because this kind of material, when you go to put a zigzag around it, it's kind of wonky. You don't want to do that. All right, I hope that helped. Bye, Susan. Thanks for the question. And I hope this helps anyone when they want to fix their workout pants or any pants. All right. Bye. Have a great day. Okay. So I put a picture at the end of this and I thought, well, oh, I better explain why I put a, a picture on there of me looking all sad. It's because I will be having tomorrow uh, that dog ear removed. I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow. But that's why I have that sad face. Because no more workout for one whole week. But I will be asking the doctor if I can uh, do walking like two or, f two or three miles, maybe four. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've been enjoying going out to the park. So, um, yeah. I hope he says it's okay to go walking. So, we'll see. He says he's only going to put about three stitches in me. So, I can't see him saying no. So, we will see. So, like I said, I hope this video helped anybody. I hope it helps someone. Bye.